In this video, we will go over another type of derivative problem, and this problem will involve using the quotient rule and the chain rule. And so if you want, you can pause the video here and attempt this problem. So we are essentially doing the chain rule first. So we're taking the derivative of the outside function. So this six is going to the front, and you do six minus one, you get five. And then you keep the inside piece. And now you will take the derivative of the inside piece. And so the next step is to use the quotient rule because in order to take the derivative of this, we need to apply the quotient rule. So low d high minus high d low divided by the square root of what's below. So low meaning 4x plus 5. d derivative of high, so 2x minus 3. Minus high, 2x minus 3. d derivative of low, 4x plus 5 divided by the square root of what's below, so 4x plus 5 squared. So now we need to take the derivative of 2x minus 3, and we need to take the derivative of 4x plus 5. And so we would get 2 and 4. Next, we can expand. So 4x plus 5 times 2 would give us 8x plus 10, minus parentheses 2x minus 3 times 4 would give us negative 8x, because negative 2x times 4 is negative 8x, and then uh, negative negative is positive 3, times four is 12, positive 12. And now we can group, so 8x minus 8x is 0x, 10 plus 12 is 22. And finally, we can say six times 22 is 132, times parentheses, 2x minus three, raised to the fifth. I'm kind of splitting because here you have four x plus five squared, and here you have four x plus five raised to the fifth. So I'm splitting it, and that's why the denominator would be four x plus five raised to the seventh. So two plus five would give us seven. And so this right here is our final answer. And that's all we need to do for this type of problem.